Well, let's warm it up with a, a warm welcome to everyone uh, to the Sommelier uh, Weekly Twitter Spaces. Um, we want to first want to say thank you, Zaki, for joining. And then we want to say thank you for the community uh, for uh, supporting Sommelier. Um, the thousands of folks in our Telegram, thousands of folks in our Discord, as well as a hundred of folks on the uh, Sommelier discourse at community.sommelier.com. Dot finance. Uh, today is a special day because the community, as, as uh, Maria said, has spoken. Uh, there was an anonymous proposal for an airdrop um, uh, by the um, uh, some group of folks, and I think uh, we had a lot of comments on it. The community weighed in, and um, I think there was uh, overall outline of what the uh, possible airdrop might look like. And then, of course, we left it to the community to put the airdrop forward. And so. Uh, the team over at uh, Volume Finance, which um, connected with some of the folks there, uh, decided to take it up and put forward uh, the opportunity to uh, outline what the what this the some airdrop should look like. And I think we have a post that has gone up. Um, we have two of our designers on our team: uh, Unique, Divine, and Sanand uh, are here. Hello. All right, so I'm put these here. And uh, we wanted to talk about essentially today's call um, and Twitter space, folks following along, is to get thoughts about, about you know, the response from volume on this particular airdrop implementation. And um, if, you, if you're not sure what we're talking about, um, it, it's not on our blog yet, but if you go to community.similia.finance, uh, you should be able to take a look in the latest post um, as well as uh, some discussions. This is according to SIPS uh, 002. So, um, Sanand, uh, you're here with us? Yeah, hello. Awesome. And Unique's here with us as well? Yep. Awesome. Okay, so uh, you guys wrote up the this proposal for this implementation. It is. It may not be the implementation. The community may come up with other ideas. Just curious as, you know, if you want to walk through mm -hmm. Uh, some of the, you know, highlights of uh, this implementation proposal and, you know, what do you guys think about the proposal overall and, and this implementation and how it meets the goals and sort of, you know, sort of aligns with the community needs, if you want to jump in there. Yeah, sure. So the original proposal had a lot of details about, uh, you know, which, how much rewards go to which groups, but it actually was uh, missing details, kind of low level implementation details. So what, what we've done is tried to fill those in to best approximate what the community decided on. And of course, you know, there's th that's really where the decision making is. So there could be other ideas for how to do these implementation details. So just to summarize a few of them, uh, one is that there was a total reward amount reserved for Somalia app wallets, right? The wallets that interacted with the Somalia app and provided liquidity. Now, the thing is you can provide liquidity on the app to multiple different pools, right? So the question is, if we're rewarding based on liquidity amount and duration, how do you compare that across pools, right? So that's one detail that needs to fill it, be filled in. And what we decided is let's convert the, uh, basically the amounts to US dollars. Right. So you could say, why not use ETH? Why not use something else? We decided US dollars. That's just one of the decisions. And that's highlighted in the post. Uh, another thing is that how you actually reward. So we said the post said to reward users based on liquidity and duration. So how long the position lasted or sorry, wallets. And uh, so the, the uh, another thing we decided is that we actually want to reward uh, duration more than liquidity to avoid uh, you know, a lot of the rewards going to mercenaries who had very large liquidity positions for a very short period of time. And so the reward function we decided on was you, you take the square root of liquidity and multiply it by duration instead of just taking you know, liquidity and multiplying it by duration. So that's another decision. And uh, the, so the idea behind that is to reward uh, you know, the majority of users as, instead of just a select few like whales. So these are just some of the decisions that went into the implementation and uh yeah we're hoping to discuss these yeah I, i'm you know curious i i think one of the questions i have you know um you know in terms of what community you're looking at some of the community comments um there was a lot of you know concern by community members that you know folks had lost you know a lot of money on gas 
uh, you know, folks had really, you know, sort of been loyal to Sommelier's, um, you know, initial app uh, for impermanent loss management and then for Uniswap V3. Um, you know, for those immediate members of the community, um, what is, you know, in terms of how they get exposed to rewards, I think maybe it's not clear. Some folks don't know, like, you know, at least if they're Sommelier app users, um, like how much on average would a wallet get if they were on the app and, and how many wallets you know, um, that, you know, sort of interacted with the app over, you know, the period of time from the snapshot that, that was taken. I mean, what does that look like in terms of wallets and what does that look like in terms of, you know, possible awards for those wallets, at least on the app side? Is there a number that we have in the data? Yes. So we have 881 uh, wallets that have provided liquidity through the app. And based on the, so the proposals mentioned 3,200,000 SOM, distributed evenly so that gives each wallet so each of those 881 wallets receives 3632 som for participation wow okay so um i guess the question now you know will be to the community you know um for those who've used the app you know what do they think about that and um you know our hope is that as folks look you know or are on our our board they'll they'll share some feedback i think it seems to me that your proposal aligns with with the initial proposal and some of the feedback there. So for some app users, they get they get those wins. But um, is it my understanding as well um, that they are also included in the you know swap v three pools um, that they may have participated in? So that's that's not the limit of their their um, award sort of uh, opportunity or participation, correct? Yes, there. So there are four groups they could fall into. So one for participating using the sommelier app, the one that's based on their positions, their Uniswap V3 LP positions, and then the Osmos LP positions. So they they all count separately. So if you did all of them, you could get four different uh, rewards. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, okay, and, and we do have a lot of Osmosis folks in the SOM community. So uh, I would say that's a, uh, Lucky, lucky some some LPs who've been there in the early days to help uh, Osmosis as well as to help Sommelier uh, seem to really uh, be the folks that um, we want more of their our participation, we want more of their activity in the Sommelier network. Zaki, any thoughts about that distribution and what it looks like so far based on on this implementation? Um, I would say that I am have not had a, a chance to fully understand it. Uh, I am deep in code review mode. Um, so just, uh, listening and learning. But, but, got it. Awesome. But, but if you were offended, you would say something Yes, I'm, I know if you were offended, you were like, that is highly offensive to the community. Correct. Um, yeah, exactly. Good, good. All right. So, um, you know, I think, um, uh, one of the things we're thinking about now, if we, we looked at the Ethereum side, um, I'm guessing that this means that, uh, the, the, the Similia network will need to send SOM tokens um, across the gravity bridge um, into those Ethereum wallets. Um, and, and we could talk about that there in a bit. What I want to now think about is the Osmosis side. Um, you know, what, what does it look like in terms of Osmosis LPs um, and rewards? I mean, we know kind of what the SOM app folks look like. How many Osmosis folks do we have, uh, sorry, wallets or addresses um, may look to sort of participate in, in this uh, airdrop proposal. Yeah, so the way we handled Osmosis is essentially we took a snapshot of uh, pool shares and uh, the original proposal listed, there was a list of pools that will be receiving rewards. So across those pools, there are about 24,000 wallets that will be receiving some. And as far as how much each wallet gets, so there's no participation reward here. It's based on pool share. So the amount of the share of liquidity that you provided to that pool or that a wallet provided to that pool. But additionally, uh, one thing we noticed in the Osmosis data is that a lot of it was dominated by whales. So, you know, a few wallets were absorbing mm -hmm. a large proportion of the rewards. Right. And so one feature we implemented, which we're, again, we want to discuss with the community is uh, a whale, a whale cap of 50,000 SOM. And right. so the idea there is that wallets that exceeded that whale cap, those funds were distributed so that SOM was distributed uniformly among other wallets. So we're looking at the, the 
average uh, Osmosis wallet receives something like 150 SOM. And that's across, there's about 24,000 wallets. Got it. Got it. So 150 SOM for Osmosis wallets. Um, and, and what does that look like uh, for, um, we would say, Uniswap V3? pool wallets. Um, if, you know, we're thinking, you know, just Uniswap V3 LPs, is there sort of like a, an average number or sort of a range of what it would look like across some of these pools? I know there were many pools um, listed. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I don't think we have. Averages. We don't have that number. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because it's, uh, it's kind of, so yeah, the Uniswap for Uniswap V3, it's like we have aggregations across all pools, but each pool gets its own reward. And the so the whale cap, we've implemented the whale cap on Uniswap as well because there are whales in Uniswap. But uh, yeah, I mean the 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 post on the the Somalia forum has this uh, data, so anyone's free to go look at that. The raw data is there, and uh, aggregation statistics are there as well. That's awesome. Uh, one of the things we were thinking about um, is, you know, um, if if you know if you guys are looking for the community to weigh in or share thoughts, is there anything in particular? Um, you know, I, I think the sum the the whale cap um, of fifty thousand sum tokens um, looks to be pretty reasonable. Um, is you know is there you know do you think that um, you know the community might want to weigh in on that cap or um, that cap really looks, you know, good enough as it is. I guess maybe, you know, maybe not, might not be relevant, but I was just curious if, you know, if folks have thoughts about that, you know, we'd welcome that, welcome the feedback. Um, I think the next thing we want to talk about is um, then implementation timelines. Um, I think the proposal uh, said December 31st, at least to have these in um, or the airdrop be active. Uh, I think then the question, this now moves into the next phase of um, getting the uh, implementation of this proposal out the door so folks can, you know, so, so that contracts can be deployed in the Ethereum side and tokens deployed on the Osmosis side. Um, one of the curious things I, you know, had, you know, questions I had based on this to you, Unique or Sun, was... If, if you were to say, hey, um, you know, this, you know, this airdrop distributes to active LPs based on what you've seen in terms of LP behavior, um, do you think the simulated community should expect that this analysis really touches LPs that exhibit the behavior that will make sellers successful? That is, you know, uh, sellers, LPs that, you know, one will put in liquidity uh, for you know extended duration, and two um, you know liquidity providers that uh, will tend to bring you know not only um, initial liquidity um, that might be small, but also you know big liquidity whales as well will be encouraged to come in as well and participate in the in the upcoming sommelier sellers. Is it your view that you know this approach may be you know th the best sort of alignment with those goals for the network? No, yes, no, yes, yes, no. I would say personally, um, I can't say this was just to follow an ex like as closely as possible to what was in SIPs 02 that people like, you know, voted on and discussed already. But I mean, it's basically all of the high volume and TVL pools from Uniswap and then um, the exact list from Osmosis. So that, I mean, at least for the initial sellers, I think that aligns closely with what we would want. Got it, got it. Um, and, I, and I think uh, what we're gonna do is ask the community to sort of, you know, let us know if, if it does not do that or if there are objections or folks feel strongly, um, you can go to, you know, community.simulia.finance and share thoughts because I think getting the community to really to share insights in terms of, um, you know, their thoughts would be helpful to make sure that, again, you know, this, this continues successfully and incorporates you know, the best ideas from, from the community. Um, all right, so um, switching gears, uh, you know, I think uh, you guys have all the data in a repo um, on GitHub. Um, I think that's github.com slash volume finance 
um, folks can actually uh, take a look. I think maybe we will also on the sommelier blog post uh, links to the data so folks can run the data themselves, um, take a look and see if the analysis aligns with expectations. We want really the community to vet and validate. Um, a lot has been shared here and um, you know, we're sure there are folks who are, you know, would be willing to do so and, and we welcome that support. Cool. All right, so now that that's finished, I think the question is what's next for uh, the data science team um, working with uh, Samilia? I guess uh, sellers are coming up, so we have some more strategies that we're gonna work on and, and hopefully uh, get ready for seller proposals, yeah? Yes, yeah, sounds about right. We're uh, doing a bit less of SQL querying and more of <laughs> the strategy. That's right. That's right. Um, so super excited to uh, have sellers coming online. Uh, and again, it is because of the Sommelier community using the pairings app, folks who took you know liquidity positions sort of uh, paved the way for the data to see what sellers would be most compelling, particularly on Uniswap v3 and and of course, beyond, uh, as uh, you know, folks head into other other particular types of games. All right, um, I think that's it for us. Uh, any questions from the community? Anyone uh, have any questions here, listening in? Um, I know usually there may be some folks. Some folks asked uh, in the Telegram, um, does this drop also apply to Osmo LPs? I think we answered that question, but yes, it applies to Osmosis LPs. It applies to Uniswap v3 LPs. And it also applies to sommelier pairings app users. Um, and um, someone said that uh, the 50,000 cap for osmosis for osmosis seems pretty high. Um, we recommend folks take a look at the data. I think one of the things you'll notice is that um, once you go past 50,000 um, tokens, the, the distribution falls off dramatically. And so I think, you know, just looking at the numbers and some of the charts in the post um, and that the team has put together, one can sort of see that, you know, between 40 to 50,000 tokens, you know, the marginal utility for an additional token just goes to maybe one or, or two wallets, maybe even less than one or two wallets. So it's, it's something interesting. Folks really should take a look at that wheel cap and share opinions on them. Um, because again, there may be folks who have, you know, different approach to data that might prove helpful. So thank you community for that. Um, I don't see any hands raised on the, 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 the Twitter spaces right now, um, but I will say, keep a look at the Sommelier blog. There's some cool stuff. Uh, the Sommelier continues to do great work on the informal audit. Uh, so if you're looking at our blog, you'll see that we've had two weeks of updates from team member Yugochi on uh, refactoring and improvements uh, to the Gravity Bridge. So that's new and exciting stuff coming with Gravity um, and with Sommelier's launch. And as well as, of course, we wanna um, say really, really thanks to um, you know, the folks who've come to us uh, and who are expressing interest as validators. We'll continue to have news on opportunities for validators as well. Uh, so that uh, we, again, the validator set broadens itself as we head into the airdrop and then of course sellers. Zaki, any thoughts before we jump? No, uh, thank you to the Volume Five team for uh, for helping make this. Uh, you know, putting some concrete, uh, doing the concrete engineering that it takes to make the community governance proposal a reality. Um, yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome, and uh, thank you very much, Sinand and Unique, and the rest of the Volume Five team. Um, and uh, just one last question: I somebody asked, "What is the snapshot date for Osmosis LP providers?" Uh, the snapshot date was October thirty first um, for. Uh, Uniswap v3, Osmosis, and LP. So uh, anything up until October 31st was actually considered. All right, that's it. Thanks all. Have a great week. Happy holidays to everybody in the US. Happy Thanksgiving. Don't get into any family fights about whether your own fork uh, is better than another own fork. Let's all- Today, you know, uh... Thanksgiving Day is one of the most, is like the, is, is you know, the highest day for emergency room visits in, uh, in the United States. So just, you know, everybody stay safe. <laughs> Statistically, you are more likely to go to the emergency room on Thanksgiving Day than any other day of the year. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> we wish everybody happy holidays. <laughs>
<laughs> See everyone. Bye -bye. Any Thanksgiving you, you survive, you. you know, is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lucky.